Well, you're going to want to pay attention to this next story. Take a look here. This is the scene of the Thurston neighborhood tonight. As you can see, downed trees and icy sidewalks are still affecting many people living here, and some of them have chosen to leave this part of the community because of this winter storm. KEZI 9 News reporter Noah Chavez spoke with two families, one who's sticking it out and another who's asking for outside help. Walking around Thurston, you are going to hear many different sounds. From the blowtorches melting the icy layers off sidewalks, to the generators providing some electricity to homes without power. Sun was freaking out. That was fun to deal with. The freezing temperatures are enough to chill anyone to the bone. Which Colton Slaymaker's backyard has become one part winter wonderland and one part disaster zone? That was actually a brand new pool. We just put it up last year and then a brand new trampoline. We upgraded it for our kids from the smaller one. And that tree back there came down, smacked that. Um, one of the poles were just bent and another branch came down, tore out the whole center. It was a challenge just to get into the neighborhood blocked by downed trees that his neighbors say have been there for days. The last ice storm, it wasn't as bad. It, it was still bad, but it wasn't as bad as this. I'm told the storm has already caused thousands of dollars worth of damages to people's homes in the area. Unfortunately, some residents had to evacuate, leaving their homes to an unknown fate. It's like bombs going off. It was so loud. Everything shook. The whole house shook. Things were falling off of the walls. That includes the Kalungas, who had a very close call themselves. The neighbor yells, oh my God, run. You know, he runs into his house. He I almost got hit by his her up box. like a, a young child. I mean, just grabbed her up, covered her up, and... I, all I could think was just to cover her head, her main extremities. The couple had to relocate to their family's home in Springfield, where they too are without power. They said they know they are fortunate to be able to make it out safely, while others may not be. We were experiencing what would it would be like in a war zone. I mean, you're constantly, I mean, your trees are coming from this way, that way, this person's house, that person's house. No vehicle was safe. With the situation not expected to improve in the short term, residents in the communities of Thurston and Springfield believe that they need more help from outside of the area in order to get them back on their feet. I really hope that the governor just applies for the state of emergency for, for this area because it, it's going to be a must. People are not going to be able to recover without help here. We need resources from the outside and bring them down. They finally got some resources from one outsider that's uh, just arrived today and they're going to start working with them getting their lines back on, but we need more. He says they're expected to be without power for a week and understands their situation could be far worse like so many others. And we're very fortunate that nothing has really happened to us and I feel for everybody else that's lost everything because of it. We're homeless. Other people are homeless. Other people need help. Other people are in need. You know, hopefully this gets out there in other interviews or whatever have you and in, in, in Lane County, Oregon area gets help right now. Reporting in Springfield, Noah Chavez, KZI, 9 News.